Lisa Collins smiles, which is a lot. You'd never believe the challenge she's facing. I have uh, metastatic breast cancer, um, and then I'm also diabetic. When I was diagnosed the second time in June, I was told that I probably could have a good chance of living for two to three years. Um, I'm not taking that lying down. When Lisa is lying down these days, it's usually on a mat, following the instructions of her personal trainer, Brandy Silfe. I completely trust her. I give myself to her. She steers me in the right direction. Brandy has geared Lisa's workouts to address not just her weight goals, but her medical goals as well. Up, oh, here's four. Get your butt down. It can get pretty tough, but Lisa is tougher. There's 10. What's her so squat thrusts out of the question? Try them. Want to try? Why not? Lisa has good days, and she also has not so good ones. And she puts them all in her blog. We all weighed in, and I didn't understand how, you know, I worked out six days a week. I gained two tenths of a pound. And on those not so good days, she always has her family. That's my sister Shannon, a newlywed, and that's my mom and my little stepbrother. I'm very encouraged by them to do this because I want to be here for them as well, not just for me. All the medication Lisa takes makes losing weight especially difficult. But whether she's pumping insulin or iron, for every push-up and pedal she makes, she knows it's not what she sees on the scale that matters most. There's another goal, another number, that means a whole lot more. The motivating factor for me is just to be here I'd like to see my 40th birthday. My goal in, in all of this is to live.